Hello, my name's Ian Joyce from Bentley Systems, and I'm here to show you Civil AccuDraw and, and its practicalities, the practical uses of Civil AccuDraw. Uh, any users of MicroStation over the years, I'm sure, will have noticed the benefits of AccuDraw. Well, Civil AccuDraw just takes that and brings it into the civil world with stationing and such like. So I'm going to use the example of a lay-by here along this uh, element, this uh, complex uh, element. And traditionally, we would just use our tools in here, something like a single side, single partial offset. But we don't have any link back to the original element for stationing. So that's what Civil AccuDraw can do for us. So if I turn Civil AccuDraw on, you can see we get a toolbox. And if I activate it, it becomes uh, gives us tools in our case here for a plan view. If we're in profile view, we would get tools pertinent to profiling. So, like all uh, good OpenRose Designer users, we shall pick a feature definition, lock onto that, and let's start by looking at what we can do in here. So, I'm going to use, a, as I say, a lay-by in here. We'll do it from one lane width to two lane widths. I uh, will we'll, uh, flare in, keep it consistent, and then uh, taper out at the end here. So, we'll go for a variable offset taper. Now, usually we follow the prompt and you can see above the normal settings we have station and offset because we're on station and offset and if we're on delta station you'll see we'll get a delta station and so on and then we have tools that are a little bit like um, normal AccuDraw so this one for instance is just a, an x and y value this is a distance and angle distance and direction in our case because we're civil so it's bearing but I'm interested in station and offset so I'd like to start this uh, at a certain station. And to do that, it's a good idea. I'm going to just use an O shortcut to get the reference element set. So we are referenced to this. So you can see if I'm roughly at 1200, we got 1200, uh, 1400 and so on on the station. That's excellent. So we'll go in here and we'll say we're going to start at, um, let's say 1200. Lock onto that and we'll go for an offset of 3.65. And just like normal AccuDraw, the, the, the left right sign is fixed for us. Uh, we don't have to worry about the negative. Uh, it seems to unlock my station, so let's put that in again. <clears throat> there we go, that's better. Now we could go to, if I want this to be 100 meters long, we could go to 1400 meters, but in this case, uh, again, I, I want two lane widths here, so 7.3 meters is going to be our offset. Uh, but I'm going to stick to length. This, this way, if the original start point changes, then uh, rather than going to an exact station, it, it will increase the length. Now, we know we can do that by using the right and left arrows uh, to go to the length. In this case, I'm going to put 100 meters in there. And I can click on there, and that is done. No mirror, of course. So if we quickly uh, select this, and we can see that if I change this station here to, let's say, 1350, the whole element moves along because I, I fixed it by length and not finish station. So let's undo that. Let's put in the next bit using a, a pretty typical single offset partial. And this time uh, I'm going to use 7.3 meters, of course. And this time I'm not really going to use uh, uh, civil aperture because I don't want to lock to 1400. I want to lock to the end. And of course, we, we all know that uh, the geometry tools in open roads designer on a snapping so if i snap to the key point or the end of this uh, piece of geometry we can live with that and again i'm going to use a length in here to give me a length of my uh, consistent width of 300 meters like so and that you can see that's taking me to 1700 and again no mirroring and we'll finish this off with a variable taper again and this time it's uh, a 7.3 and once again, we will, um, you can see the length has been remembered of 100, by the way. That's the last one we did. Uh, and we'll go for an end offset of 3.65. There we go. And just to check that length, we'll go right arrow to the distance. Line. There it is, 100 meters. So we've now got total control over that piece of geometry. So for instance, if I go here and change this to 1400 meters, you can see the whole of the geometry changes. If it moves on to a curve, it will, of course, uh, taper that curve as well. So Civil AccuDraw giving us a lot more control over the geometry 
than without Sivalaki draw. Okay, let's have a look at a little bit of a uh, an off the wall uh, use of Sivalaki draw. I've got I've got two rectangles. M maybe they um, relate to two buildings. Who knows? And we want to place some geometry. Uh, between these, and again, I, it doesn't really matter here, but I've got a feature definition. And I want this to start um, one, let's say, 150 meters from each of these corners and 150 meters from each of these corners. Well, we've got some really useful tools that we just haven't had previously. So we've got things like two distances. So if I was to, uh, and as you can see, I've got two distances here. So if I hit um, O on my keyboard and then select this corner, and then go to the second field and hit O, that's O not zero, you can see I get two intersecting circles, which I can now type in the distances I would like those to be from. So as we can see, with 150, there's two different places this could be. So let's go here. And again, uh, we get a new origin here. So if I want it to be from this corner now, so I could uh, uh, set the origin uh, this corner, and then the second distance, again, I could change this to set the origin at this corner, like so. And you can see how we can um, we can we can deal with that. So let's let's go for let's say um, a hundred meters from each corner, just tapping between them, and you can see again here or here. So if we now select this um, piece of geometry. We can see those distances, which of course we can uh, change like quite easily. And of course, if the original element was to move, this is just a normal microstation element, you can see it maintains those relationships between the two. So um, you can see the flexibility of civil Accudraw. It gives us uh, a lot of what Accudraw gave us but with um, a little bit more flexibility and a, a sense of uh, the civil uh, way of doing things. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.